Okay, I was waiting for this ruling before I made my video. There was no sense making the video after she made the last ruling. This judge is this, the one that uh, George had overruled, or, you know, I say overruled. Of course, he he went over her head by appealing it to a the uh, appeals court, and the appeals court is much more reasonable than she is. She seems to have these really bad feelings about George, and I'm positive that she was very upset when, at the moment that they read that she actually got to read the verdict. I think she just about fell over. Let's listen to what this guy has to say. Judge Deborah Nelson's ruling came out this morning, 11 days after she heard arguments here at the Seminole County Courthouse. In a nutshell, she says that George Zimmerman doesn't have a case, and she ruled in favor of NBC. Zimmerman. So basically, you know, and I'm going to stop it here for a second. She is ruling on the case so she's not saying that there was um any reason for the case not to go forward other than the fact she says there is no um there is no evidence sufficient to find that the that the uh nbc acted in malice or that you know that it that they that they would find in favor of george zimmerman which is the most ridiculous thing. But anyhow, let's continue listening to this. Had filed suit against the network over its airing of the phone call he made the night Trayvon Martin was killed. In that call, you could hear Zimmerman telling the dispatcher there's a suspicious person hanging out outside his complex. The dispatcher asked Zimmerman if he's white, black, or Hispanic. Zimmerman replies, black. But NBC's edited version, the dispatcher's question is edited out. Zimmerman claimed that made him sound racist. Now, in it was so bad. Everybody knew that it was so bad that NBC fired the people that they said were responsible for it. That's how bad it was. But apparently this judge says, oh, no, it's no big deal. Nobody did anything out of malice. No, calm down. Really? This is very interesting. We'll see how it turns out, but let's continue. In today's ruling, Deborah Nelson wrote, negative publicity was directed at Zimmerman well before the non-emergency call was released to the public. And Yeah, directed at him because of the reports of the news. And if I remember correctly, she said she doesn't watch the news, so she wouldn't be able to know this information, right? She has no way to uh, fairly decide whether it was she can't say well nbc had been egging it on all along she couldn't say that and they're only bringing this to the to her because this particular piece shows the malice you know it's obvious that she was against him from the beginning and she will be at every turn i don't know how it is that she would be the judge in this case she certainly has run her course but, you know, I wanted to say one other thing about her real quick. Isn't she uh, on the FISA court, you know, the court, the secret court that uh, rules without any uh, input from the, from the uh, defendant? It's just completely listening to the government and making a ruling based on that. So she is kind of used to just hearing that side. You know, uh, a lot of people don't know about that court. You might want to check into it. It's very interesting. All right, let's continue. Before NBC broadcast any of the news reports at issue, she said there are no genuine issues that the defendants acted with actual malice. Okay. Uh, seriously. Seriously. This woman is out of control. Can you imagine? There is no genuine issues that the defendants acted with actual malice why did they get fired i guess those people that got fired now can come and insist on their job back and all of the money that they would have made over the last year that since they got fired or a year and a half huh that's interesting huh 
Now, Zimmerman was seeking monetary damages from this lawsuit. Lately, we've heard he's broke, he's homeless, he's apparently living with friends. So today's decision is bound to impact him a lot. It I don't think so. I think everybody knew what Judge Nelson was going to do. I mean, she has had an issue with him because she's in that group of George Zimmerman haters. There are a certain group of people that just cannot be objective. They can't. And she was not. She had to be uh, pushed several times to be objective. She was forced against her will. George had to go above her more than once. Do you think that he's just going to drop this? Why would he not go to the court that has more than once said, eh, she, this judge is out of control. And, you know, once it happens, that's something. If it happens more than once in a single case, it starts to make you wonder, does this judge have a, a, a fair mind? Is it possible that she could be fair? Or does, it, does this show that she really shouldn't even be there? Because as a judge, you set aside your personal feelings. You have to. Because if you can't, then you're not a judge. You are um, an activist that happens to get a black robe. Anyway, I just wanted to bring this stuff up. Good talking to you guys. Talk to you later.